guys, it's Sutton, and today I am going to read you another book, but this one's about electric eels. I know the other videos have been like about like not really sea animals, but this but we're going to be reading. And it's a chapter book, but it's it only has like five chapters. It only and it's here a baby crying or babysitting a little yeah. uh, six month old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, if so let's just call me Pippin. Sorry guys. Okay. If let's just get started. Okay. Chapter one. Like I said, it's a chapter. South America has many rivers and streams. What kind of fish lives in the streams? A fish that sucks. A powerful fish swims in the streams of South America. This fish is called the electric eel. People do not see it often, but they may feel it when they step into the water. Zap, zap the fish sends out an electric shock that hurts the people jump out of the water. Sorry guys if you can't hear me, but, but if this is like super weird. Okay. Every time I get near my parents, um, I can't breathe. That's why I decided to make it a little out. Sorry. Okay. The skin under an electric eel's body is yellowish gray. The eel looks like a thin, a thick snake. It has a wide head. It, its body is brown and dark gray with yellow underneath. The, its skin is thick and smooth. An electric eel can grow to be eight feet long. That's twice as long as a broomstick. An electric eel is, a, is about as big around as your legs. So it can curl up around your legs. Okay. An electric eel has two small fins behind its head. One fin is on, e is on each side of the fish's body. Fin fish have fins. Fins are part of the body of are part of the body that help fish swim. The electric eel has three fins. It has a pair of short fins behind its head. The electric eel uses these fins to steer as it swims. It also has one it has it also has one long fin under its body. This fin helps the electric eel swim backwards and forwards. An electric eel has has a long fin under its body. The fin starts behind the fish's head and ends at the top, at the tip of its tail. Okay, so guys, look at the picture. I don't know how people get pictures of these, but they do. The electric eel does not have ears that stick out like ours, but it can hear very well. It can hear other animals moving in the water. An electric eel has ears, but they do not stick out the way people's ears do. You guys know that um, fish, like, here's a little spoil of the book. Um, they also do, they also um, do have, an, they also, oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Let's just get back into the book. This electric eel lives in the water that is hard to see through. Electric electric eels have small eyes. They are blue or green. Electric eels cannot see well, but they do need to, do they do not need to see much. They live in muddy water that is hard to see through, and they hunt for food at night when it's too dark to see. Ah, oh, that that's what I was going to tell you guys. Sorry. All animals need to breathe oxygen, and then it look, guys. It also says um like how to sound it out. To live, oxygen is a gas. It is in the air in water. You breathe oxygen into your lungs. Fish do not have lungs. Instead, they have gills. Fish use their gills to take oxygen from the water. An electric eel's gills are in front of its small fins. The electric eel's gills take in some oxygen, but the water electric eels live in does not have much, uh, much oxygen. So every few minutes, an electric eel swims to the top of the of the water. Then it gulps air into its mouth. It gets oxygen from the air. Okay, guys. On my pet, my my cat Pebbles. 
is also um in the, in the room with me. Fish is called true eels look a lot like electric eels, but true eels and electric eels are not the same. True eels have fins on their backs, and true eels are born in salty oceans. Electric eels do not have back fins. They live in fresh water all their lives. Fresh water is a water that is not salty. Moray eels are true eels. They have a long fin on their backs. This is one kind of knife fish that lives in South America. Its scientific name is Agenomo <laughs> limbus. Knife fishes are related of the electric eel. Knife fishes can make electricity, but they can't make as much as le electricity as electric eels can. Chapter 2 Some electric eels live in shallow streams in the rainforest. What are some other places electric eels live? Danger in the water. The electric eel lives near the Amazon River in South America. It lives in the shallow. It lives in the shallow water. It lives in the shallow water of streams, ponds, swamps, and lakes. The electric eel often hides among water plants. Giant water lilies grow in in shallow near the Amazon River. They have round floating leaves that are more that are more than six feet wide. Their flowers are as big as soccer balls. Piranhas aren't big, but these fish have very sharp teeth. Piranhas aren't big, but these fish have very sharp teeth. Groups of, para of piranhas hunt together. They can kill large animals. Electric eels are predators. Predators are animals. Are, are animals. Wait. Predators are animals that kill and eat other animals. The electric eel shares the water with other fields predators. It lives with stingrays, piranhas, anaconda snakes, and caimans. Caimans are related with alligators. Electric eels are top predators. That means other animals do not hunt them. Electric eels are too dangerous. This caiman is eating a big fish. Okay, guys. Um, we might. Uh, um, we're. I don't really want it to be like too long, so I'm gonna have to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and. Um, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, because I only have 11 subscribers, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.